Hi guys, today we are going to be making a veggie pad thai. So first, let's start by making the sauce. Here I have half a cup of tamarind juice. To this, I'm adding some palm sugar. You can also use some jaggery. Give this a good mix. To this, I'm adding some soy sauce. You mix these ingredients and keep this aside. The jaggery or the palm sugar will melt on its own. In a pan, start by taking some oil. To this, add half cup of firm tofu. Stir fry the tofu on low flame. We just want that the color of the tofu should become slightly golden. Once the tofu starts turning golden, just push it onto one side. Next, I'm adding some garlic and chili. Cook the garlic and chili. I'm adding some spring onions. Push the spring onions, garlic and chilli aside. To this, I'm adding some carrots and beans. Mix this all up. Season the veggies and the tofu with a little bit of salt. I'm adding some water. Now, I'm going to be covering this and cooking it for nearly 5 to 6 minutes. After 5 to 6 minutes, the carrot and the beans have cooked well. I'm adding some bean sprouts. These are mung bean sprouts. I'm also adding some chilli garlic crunch oil. If you don't have chilli garlic crunch oil, you can add some chilli sauce or even chilli flakes. Add some pad thai sauce that we just made. Add the pad thai sauce in stages, don't add it all at once. Next, I'm going to be adding the main ingredient which is the rice sticks or also the rice noodles. These rice noodles have been soaked in water for nearly one hour. Just remember you don't have to boil these noodles ahead. Mix it well. Make sure that the sauce is incorporated uniformly in the entire noodle. I'm cooking this on low flame. If you want, you can use thinner rice noodles. You can also change the veggies, use baby corn, you can use bell peppers, broccoli, basically any veggies of your choice. To this, I'm going to be adding some spring onion stalks. I'm going to be covering it and cooking it for nearly 7 to 8 minutes. After 7 to 8 minutes, you will see that the color of the noodles will change. The noodles will also shrink. Season it with some salt and also some black pepper. Add a little bit of water and continue to cook on low flame. You continue to cook the noodles on low flame until the noodle is perfectly cooked and soft. Once the noodle has been cooked, you add the last ingredient and that is roasted peanuts. Add the roasted peanuts, mix it well and serve these noodles immediately. So finally, the pad thai noodle is ready. I'm going to be serving some chilli, some brown sugar, some peanuts, some lime juice alongside. I'm garnishing it with some coriander, some bean sprouts, some peanuts on top, some lime and some spring onion flowers. So here it is guys, my wedgie pad thai noodles are ready to be served and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this recipe and will make this very very soon. Whenever you guys make this, please don't forget to tag me and also like, share and subscribe to my channel.